Hi everyone, I'm Alicia and today I wanted to show you how to make an easy beaded ball. It looks much more difficult than it is, but it really is very easy. This one I used 6 hot sea beads, which are the black ones, and 11 hot sea beads, the red ones, to make. And I've had to put a bead inside so it keeps its round shape. This one here I used 11 hot sea beads with a 2mm coconut beads. And I also had to put a bead inside of this to keep it shaped. This one too is le uh, 11 knot sea beads with rondelles. I really love that one. And to show you how to make this, I figured that I w should use different colors. Because when you look at this, it's all one color. It looks really confusing. So I'm going to be using three different colors to explain how to make it. And this is the one I'm going to be making the tutorial. So you're probably not going to want to make it with these weird colors. Yours, you can make it like this. But if I use these different colors, maybe you'll figure out how to make it much easier. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is make this orange circle. And then I'm going to go off a side and pick up clear beads. And go all the way around, around the side. Then I'll meet up here. I'll exit out and I'll pick up a blue bead, an orange, and I'll go in this direction. Then I'll go all the way around and then I'll close up at the top. So I'm going to go ahead and take this apart and I'll tell you the list of materials that you're going to need to make this. Alright, the materials you're going to need to make this is 30 inches of fishing line, 30 beads. I'm using rondelles. I like their shape the most. Um, you can use 2 millimeter, 3 millimeter, 4 millimeter, but I wouldn't go any higher because the ball just gets way too big. You're going to need a bead to go inside, and I can't tell you what size bead to use inside because it just depends on what size bead you're going to be using and what shapes and kinds you're using. So when I get to the point to put the bead in, you can look through your stuff and see what best fits into your ball. And I colored my strings ends red and black, like I said in my last video, so it's easier to explain how to do this. So, let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is take one of my strings, I'll do the black, and I'm going to pick up a seed bead, a rondelle, seed bead, rondelle, seed bead, Rondel, CB, Rondel, CB. So you should have four rondelles and five seed beads. Now I'm going to pick up my last orange rondelle and cross through it. Put my ends together. And bring that down to the center. So I should have this. And now I'm going to take my dominating hand, which is my right, so I'm going to use my black, and I'm going to pick up a C bead, rondelle, C bead, rondelle, slide them down, C bead, rondelle, and a seed bead. So I now have four beads here. One, two, three, four. I'm using this orange one. This is going to be counting as in my five. So on my red string, I'm going to pick up a seed bead. So I should have five seed beads and four rondelles. Now I'm going to pick up my fifth rondelle and cross through it. Bring it down. And now I have to take my black string and pick up. Move my camera down. Pick up a C bead. And I'm going to go through this orange bead right here. Just like that. And pull it through. 
and right there is where my C bead sits. Now with my red string, I'm going to pick up a C bead, a rondelle, C bead, rondelle, and right there are my four rondelles. One, two, three, four. I have to pick up another seed bead. And then this side, I need a seed bead. So I'm going to get a seed bead in that side. And now I have this. So I'm going to pick up my fifth rondelle and cross through that. Bring it down. And now we have this shape. And now with my red string, this one, which is on this side, I'm going to pick up one seed bead and go through this orange rondelle, pull it through, just like that. My black string, I have two rondelles here. I'm going to pick up a seed bead, a rondelle, seed bead, slide them down. Pick up a rondelle and a C bead. So there's my four rondelles, and I have a seed bead here, so I have to put a seed bead on this string. That's my red string. I'm putting a seed bead on this side, and this side is my black string. So now I'm going to pick up a rondelle and cross through it. This is my fifth rondelle, just like that. And with my black string, which is this one, I'm going to pick up a C bead and go through this orange bead next to the line and pull it down. And my red string on this side, I'm picking up a C bead, a rondelle, C bead. Rondelle, slide them down, pick up a seed bead. So there are my four rondelles. One, two, three, four. I'm going to pick up a seed bead on my black string, which is my left. Slide it down. And I'm going to pick up my fifth rondelle and cross to that. just like that. And with my red string, which is on my left side, I'm going to pick up a C bead and go through this orange bead right here. Exit out. Now it should look like this. And again, on my red string, my left string, I'm going to pick up a seed bead and go through this clear rondo. So now we should have that. And with my black string, tighten it up a little bit. My black string is my right string, so I'm going to pick up a seed bead. And if you look here, you can see that we have one, two, three rondelles. So I'm only going to be picking up two rondelles. So I picked up a C bead, slide that down, and I'm going to get my fourth rondelle and another C bead. And on my red string, I'm going to pick up um, a C bead. So I have seed beads on both sides, and now I'm going to pick up a rondelle and cross to there. So now it should look like this. This is half of our of our bowl. That's what half of it looks like. Okay, so we're now halfway through the bowl, and this is what it looks like where I'm exiting out of. With my left string, this string. It's also my black string. I'm going to pick up one seed bead 
and go through this bead right here. Pull it. So now it should look like that. With my right string, my red, I'm going to pick up a C bead, slide that down, a blue bead, a C bead, orange bead, a C bead, slide that on down, and on my left string, my black, I'm going to pick up a C bead, slide that down, pick up a rondelle, and cross through it, and pull it on down. And we are now starting our side. And this orange is going to be the other side of my ball. This was my where I first started. So I'm going to have a little orange ring on the top. So now it looks like this on the side. And I need to put another C bead right here. So I'm going to take my red string, my left string, pick up a C bead, and cross through this clear bead. Just like that. Now it needs to look like this. And I'm going to take my red string again and I'm exiting out this bead and there's two seed beads here so that means I need to add another seed bead. So I'm going to pick up another seed bead and go through this clear one right here. Try not to go through my seed bead. We never cross through any of the seed beads. We're only crossing through the larger beads. So now it should look like that. So I have one, one, two, three rondelles. So I'm only going to pick up two rondelles. So in my black string, I'm going to pick up a seed bead, a rondelle, my orange bead, C bead and I'm gonna pick up my rondelle that I'm gonna cross through and on my left hand my red string I'm gonna pick up a C bead so slide them all down and it should look like that now I'm gonna cross through my blue rondelle and bring it down and that, that's what we have so my black string my left string is exiting out of this rondelle and there are two seed beads right there and that means that I have to pick up a seed bead and go through this rondelle just like that and again we are exiting right here and there's two seed beads and that means that I have to pick up another seed bead so I'm picking up another seed bead and I'm going to go through this rondelle. Just like that. So there we are again. One, two, three rondelles. And that means that we're picking up two. So pick up a seed bead, a rondelle, a seed bead on your red string and slide that down and on my black string I'm going to pick up a C bead and now I'm going to cross at my fifth bead and that's the blue rondelle that's what it looks like and again, this string is exiting down here and we need it to turn up. So I have to pick up another C bead. This is my red string. Slide that down. I'm going to go through this clear one. And then I'm going to pick up another C bead because I'm exiting right here and there are two more C beads and go up through this clear one. So now I'm exiting with this one C bead. 
And that means now that I have my three rondelles, it looks just like that. One, two, three. I'm going to take my black string, my dominating hand, pick up a seed bead, a rondelle, seed bead, and on my left string, my red string, I'm picking up a seed bead, and now I'm going to cross through a rondelle. And if you look, there are my four rondelles. One, two, three, four. Cross through it. Now it looks like that. So if you look right now, we are at the top. And we have the four of our orange beads done. And if you look at this side, there's five. So we only have one rondelle left of our 30 rondelles. So I'm going to take this string here that's coming out the bottom because this is the top of our beaded ball and I'm going to have to go around and add seed beads right here and this is my black string so I'm going to pick up a seed bead Let's stick my finger inside it and I'm going to go I'm mixing out this blue one I'm going to go through this clear rondelle. Pick up another seed bead and go through the next clear rondelle. And again, I'm exiting out over here and there's still two seed beads, so that means I need another seed bead. So I pick up another seed bead with my black and I'm going through this and right there's one seed bead and that means that I'm now ready to change up. So both of my strings are now exiting out the two blue rondelles. I'm fixing to close my top. Now is the time to find the bead that you need to fit inside of this ball and put it in. And now I'm going to tighten it up. And I'm going to take and pick up a seed bead on my red string and a seed bead on my black string. Picking up my last rondelle, number 30, crossing through and bringing it down. And if you look here, we have two seed beads and we, we need three. So take your left or right and go through the orange beads around the top to fill it in. Another seed bead. We're filling in the top, making it nice and round. Go through that one. Hook up another seed bead and go through this one. I swapped my strings because I try to get my strings to stay the same length on whatever I make. So I don't have one. If I use one so many times it gets shorter. And then when I get to the end I run out of string and I don't have enough string to tie a knot. So there it is. I just filled all of them in and I'm pulling it tight and my bead inside is actually shaped like a rondelle. So if you have a hard time trying to, when you go to string this, trying to find the hole, I usually get something pointed and I stick it inside and I slide it on and that's how I find my hole. You can actually make this in stripes if you look at it. If I did this in blue that would look pretty neat. So I'm going to tie a knot, and I'm not going to tie it in this one because it's crazy looking. I'm going to try it, tie it on this one. Okay, so we had added the seed beads on the top, and after we do that, it is a little loose, and you can go like that, and it moves open. I like to reinforce it, so I'm going to take my string, 
one of my strings and go through all the C beads in a circle. Go through the next two. So I went through the C bead, the rondelles, all the way around. I'm good for these ones. And that makes it much tighter, so now we can make our knot. Um, I like to go around twice because if I don't and I go to tie a knot, the knot is not going to be uh, placed right and it might be loose in some places. So I'm exiting out of this bead here, this rondelle shaped coconut bead. I'm going to go through the next C bead. Um, and sometimes when my beads get stuck and I can't pass through them, I'll find something pointed and I'll lift them up and I'll go through the bead. Just like that. I'll tighten my strings and I'm going to do a half hitch knot. I'm exiting out of this C bead right here. I'm going to go underneath and come out <laughs> the center here. Just like that. I'm going to make a loop and pass through the loop twice. But first you need to make sure that your beaded ball is nice and tight. Pull it down. And I'm going to go through my rondelle looking bead here. What is going on? Fetch it with my tweezers. Now I'm going to tie another knot. Well, actually, I'm exiting out of this. I need to go through the next C bead and then I can tie another knot. So basically, it's the same knot that I do in all my videos. Half hitch knot. You want to go through the C bead first. And then tie a knot right after you exit the C bead and go through the next rondelle. Go through like the bottom area there. Make a loop. Go through the loop twice. Pull it down. And then go to the next bead. And pull the knot through that bead. And the knot's hidden. The knot just disappeared. So I'm going to do the same on this side. And after I get like two knots on each side, I'll go through seven more beads and use up some of my extra string and to make it more secure. And if you lose your hole, like I said, get something pointed, like even a toothpick, and poke it through and you should find your home. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. And if you notice this ring, um, my last video I made a button ring and in that tutorial I said that to do a four hole button. Well after I made the tutorial I figured that I had some really nice um, buttons with shanks and this is a Rivoli and it was on a button shank. So I took and um, made it into a ring. And if you want to learn how to make the button ring with a shank button, um, I'll post a link below and just go there and I have a little picture instructions of how to do the shank button. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe and I'll make more videos.